Maria Montessori's real genius was to recognize that in a prepared environment, when children are given a choice, they will choose to learn. I've never done a study of the philosophy of Montessori. What I've done is seen it in action and been very impressed with the results. Life is about solving problems collaboratively, and at Montessori Family School, this is what we do all day long. It's really lovely to see how the Montessori Family School actually takes the word family and puts it into action. Experience you get here, you can't get anywhere else, and that's probably the most important part. The mission of Montessori Family School is really the mission of Maria Montessori. It's uh, preparation for life. Uh, school is not separate from life. School needs to be a part of life. School is part of the fabric of life. In any good school, and any good program, you have four parts to it. You have the students, you have teachers, you have parents, and you have administration. In this school, um, all parts come together in a wonderful way where everyone cares for each other, we have deep respect for each other, uh, children love each other in so many ways, and that shows in their daily lives. common misconception about Montessori is that it is somehow less rigorous than a traditional educational approach when in fact Montessori is really miniature real life. When you go into a Montessori classroom, what you see is something that's much more like the real world that all of us parents inhabit than uh, a traditional classroom setting in which children are sitting in rows and are listening to lectures. In a Montessori classroom, it's more like a little startup company. You see children who are freely collaborating with each other on projects, they're forming uh, on their own uh, initiative forming collaborations with each other. We have two campuses that we own. Uh, we purchased our first campus, which is now our preschool campus for uh, children approximately age three through six and uh, in Berkeley. And then our elementary campus for children kindergarten through eighth grade is uh, located in El Cerrito. What I think Montessori Family School does very well is that we provide a multi-sensory educational experience in a multi-age developmentally appropriate classroom. And what you end up having is a group of older children who can mentor the younger children. And then you also have the opportunity to work with children for three years. And so you really get to know what their needs are and can meet them exactly where they need to be met. So I can give each child an appropriate amount of challenge and an appropriate amount of support. One of the things that was actually a little challenging for me at first was the mixed age groups. And my experience having been a parent in the school has totally turned that one around. And I actually feel that the, the uh, mixed age groups are ideal and developmentally make so much sense. I also think on a social level, it's really valuable to have a sense of community in this incredibly fragmented, complex society that we live in. There's something about having a community of kids and, and teachers who are stable. And not every year you wind up with a new teacher and a new school room and a whole you know, new set of people to interact with, but you actually get some time to develop intimacy in those uh, relationships at school. What I think I remember most about Montessori is like friendships that I made. We were able to really have a close a relationship because his classes were small and everybody knew each other and it was really nice because I'm still in touch with them and I still hang out with them and they're still my closest friends. Children get to learn what they want to know so they have what I call an interest-based learning experience and we know from neuroscience that when learning is um, hooked with interest that you retain the information longer and also a sound academic curriculum to make sure that things that they are not overtly interested in are also things that they will explore and learn about because they're comfortable and because their interests are also met. It 
was amazing to see how uh, she got so self-motivated, you know, because um, she was allowed to explore and find out about things, you know. Her questions and her curiosity about things um, were always encouraged. And I see actually even now when she is in, she's a freshman in high school, she's so self-motivated and she um, just goes, I mean, there's no obstacle in her wanting to know about something that she's interested in. What you see is your child being asked to do everything for themselves. But over time, I've seen how important that is to helping children develop a sense of mastery. Genuine mastery is what builds self-esteem in children. And you see the effects of that over years and years of a child having um, expectations to take care of themselves and others and be good to the environment of the school and the environment in general. And over time, you see the child developing genuine confidence. And I think that is probably the biggest thing that's unique to this school and this method that I don't think you see in a conventional school environment. My time at Montessori really helped me learn a lot of things, both about myself and about the world. I feel like it prepared me well academically but my own social interactions and my own emotional interactions, I feel like it prepared me on a much higher level there and I feel like I have a lot of capabilities to empathize with people and act in an um, appropriate way in social situations and stuff because I've been brought up in this kind of community. At the Montessori Family School, what I love is how careful teachers are with their language around children's feelings. Consequently, the children end up being quite skilled with their language around their feelings and then that strengthens them. And the key is it's not strengthening them to only get what they want, it's strengthening them to be able to take others into account being kind. That's education for peace. Middle school, the years are tough. They're sort of fraught with challenges and the early adolescent feels very upside down very quickly. In a Montessori middle school classroom, the same care and love and support is provided that has been provided all along. At the same time, we also then provide an academic program that will move the child forward to get them ready for the next phase of their development, which is high school. The middle school years is an important time for social justice and that is fostered. It doesn't really suit anyone to have a young person go out into the world only academically prepared. They need to also understand the lessons of perseverance, working with others, being part of a community. The academics are very strong and my son had no trouble getting into the top schools of his choice and very competitive academic programs. And that's not what is the only thing that a parent should really consider when they're sending their kid to school. Pay attention to the teachers and to the people and to the children. Pay attention to the way it feels. The changes that I've seen in my children as they've progressed through Montessori Family School is an increasing sense of independence and autonomy in what they do. I see them uh, loving to learn. They find that deeply satisfying and we find it very exciting to watch. A Montessori family school education is a gift that you give to your child. And it is um, the most important gift that you can give them.